Good afternoon, everyone. Um, thank you all for attending this afternoon's session. Uh, today we'll be presenting on visualizing Google Analytics data in Wave. Uh, specifically, we're going to try to enable deeper insights by combining Google Analytics data with uh, your Salesforce data. So just a quick introduction. Um, my name's Jason Reed. I work for Cervelo, uh, senior consultant there. I'm a tech lead on most of our projects. Um, my work includes anything from app exchange development to force.com. We also do a lot of development on uh, the Heroku platform. Um, and we do some mobile app development as well. Uh, today, I'm here with our Wave expert, Derek. I'll let Derek introduce himself. Hello, I'm Derek Hargwood. I'm a Salesforce consultant with Cervelo. I'm Wave Black Belt certified um, in our Salesforce practice. And I also do some custom application development as well. Great. So as, as we said, uh, we work for Cervelo. Uh, Cervelo is a services firm. We're an SI, and ISV partner. Um, we, we, we're specifically in the Salesforce practice, uh, which is uh, our headquarters are in Boston. Uh, we have offices in New York, London, and Dallas. We also have some uh, development centers in, Lond uh, excuse me, in uh, Russia and India. And uh, we also have two other practices, one being our analytics and information management practice, which ha does a lot with data warehousing, business intelligence, big data stuff. And then we also have an enterprise performance management practice that does a lot of solution building around the office of the CFO. So quick agenda, what we'll be running through today. First, I'll be kind of framing the problem, help you know, just walking us through what the, what the solution is, what we're trying to build here. Walk through a few business use cases where you can potentially take this solution uh, and you know to your own to, for your own purposes, um, and and then um, I'm gonna let Derek take over. He's gonna do a demo. He's gonna dive through all the different components we talk about in the solution overview. Uh, he'll be we'll be talking about uh, Google Analytics to Salesforce uh, Wave app that we've built in uh, in Heroku, and it's free to use for you to, uh, for you to take and use for your own purposes. Um, and then we'll be going on doing some data flow setup. So this will help you move data between Salesforce and Salesforce Wave. Uh, we'll build some visualizations. And then we'll f wrap that up by uh, putting together some dashboards with those visualizations. All right, so why do we want to build this solution? Well, first, let's start. I mean, you're all here. So we're all using Salesforce in some capacity. So we're storing a lot of great data in, uh, around, our around our business, around our customers, and Salesforce. I'm assuming if you're also here, you're using Google Analytics in, in some way, or want to use it in some way, to track a lot of great uh, user information on, on, your, on your web apps. So basically, we have, we have two great sources of customer and user data, and we want to combine those two to gain deeper and better insights about our users. So what are we going to do to build that? Well, we, we have our data sources. The next piece is you know, how do we integrate those two and bring those two together? So we're going to have to build some sort of integration layer. And then on top of that, we're going to have to build some sort of robust reporting and, and dashboarding tool. So how did, I mean, you can really do this in a lot of different ways, but how do we do it? Well, in our integration layer, we, used, uh, we built a custom Heroku app that will do a lot of the Google Analytics uh, transformations and, and push those into Wave, which we'll walk through and you can use uh, after this presentation. Um, on the other side, we're going to use Salesforce's standard data flows in, in our integration layer to move Salesforce data into Wave. Um, it's a, it's, we'll walk through that in more detail, but it's a, it's a great tool um, and easy to use. And then finally, for our robust kind of great a analytic reporting tool, we're going to use Salesforce Wave. So go ahead, Derek. So let's just talk about some use cases where you can kind of take this and, and maybe run with it and you know, just, just kind of think about this in your own business as, as we walk through this solution. The uh, example we'll kind of walk through today um, is campaign performance. So this is the idea of taking your user data uh, on, in Google Analytics, um, combining it with your campaign data, and ultimately your opportunity data. So looking at, are my campaigns, am I really seeing user, uh, an uptick in user navigation, use, where, where are they going on my site? Uh, and then is that ultimately trickling down to revenue and opportunities being generated? So you know, do clicks ultimately equal revenue? Um, a next, uh, another, another good uh, scenario for this solution is product performance, understanding you know, who's using your product and why. So we're going to look at uh, the user data, the demographic data from Google Analytics, um, and combine that with product data um, and, and opportunity data. So who, who, what products are kind of getting the most activity? Um, who's, of, my, of their demographics, what, what products are they going to? And from those demographics, kind of you know, where are we seeing the most sales, the most opportunities, the most revenue? And then the last scenario that you know, this solution could be applicable for is um, self-service self enablement. So this is the idea of 
uh, search engine optimization to really drive down kind of click bounce rates and drive down your cases that are created so that you know, as if I'm a user uh, or a consumer of your product and I have an issue with your product, um, I'm going to do some sort of searching for, for my solution, for my problem first. Well, as I come to your site, am I getting taken to the right page? And if I'm not getting taken to the right page, you know, I'll, I'll most likely leave and, t and create a case. So this is a, you know, Google Analytics gives you a way to see what search terms people are coming in on, what pages they're hitting, uh, and ultimately, you know, I, w whether or not they're kind of creating cases at the end. So just another opportunity to kind of use this solution going forward. So just a high-level overview of our, our solution. I, I talked about this in three components, our kind of data source layer, integration layer, and then your reporting and dashboarding layer. Um, so at the top here, we have our two data sources, Google Analytics and Salesforce. You know, as many of you probably know, Google Analytics, great lightweight tool that you can add to any sort of web app, uh, bring in a lot of user data. Um, and, and then on the other side, we have our Salesforce uh, data. And you're obviously tracking a lot of great sales, customer, business data uh, on those two sides. In the middle here, we have our integration layer. And as I said, we have this Google Analytics and Salesforce Wave app. We've built this on the Heroku platform. It's a one-click deploy that you can use and spin up on uh, any of your instances. It's a click-to-configure interface, so you can kind of easily determine what data points do I want to bring from Google Analytics and push them into my Wave instance. Something Derek will walk through in a little bit more detail, but um, if, you, if, you, if you're interested more, please definitely reach out because this is available for you to use today. Uh, on the other side of the integration, we have our data flows. These are a standard, uh, standard tool provided by Salesforce. It lets you move data from Salesforce uh, into Wave. Um, it's, it's very easy. It's a very simple, lightweight ETL. You can do some simple transformations to move stuff into your uh, Wave uh, reporting tool. And then finally, at the top of it, at the bottom of this, and most important piece, we have the Analytics Cloud, that'll, where we'll be doing kind of all our combining of the data, querying, and an analysis to really drive you know, uh, more insight into those business use, case, use cases I talked about. So I'm going to turn things over to Derek now, and he's going to walk through everything we just kind of discussed. All right. Thanks, Jason. Um, so I'll be walking through that first use case that Jason mentioned of combining your campaigns from Google Analytics and then trying to combine that with your Salesforce campaigns and see what kind of charts and dashboards we can build off of that. All right. Uh, so the first step here is to get your Google Analytics data. Uh, like Jason said, we use the Google Analytics Salesforce Wave app to set it up. You just have to link your Google Analytics account, uh, provided that it has access to the Analytics API. Uh, and you s configure your Salesforce Wave account, your username, password, security token, uh, to find any metrics and dimensions you want to load over from Google Analytics, um, schedule it as needed. Um, just to show you what that looks like, I've logged into the app here. Um, I can go over to the Settings tab, def define my Google Analytics profiles, my Salesforce Wave profiles my Salesforce Wave profiles, and then go over to the Dashboard tab um, and add a job. Um, when you add a job, you can define what, what Google Analytics profile you want to load from if you have more than one, uh, define if you want to load what Salesforce Wave profile you want to load to, any metrics that are available within Google Analytics. So let's say we want to pull in page views and date as a simple example. Uh, define the start and end dates for the data you want to pull, and uh, then schedule it as needed. I'm not going to run it now just because I already have the data over, over in Wave. So that takes care of half of the source, the source issue. We still need to get the campaigns from Salesforce. To do that, we're using data flows. Um, data flows are essentially configured by editing a JSON file in the background that has a step for each, each part of your data flow. So you have an extraction step, you can have an augment, augmentation step, a register step. Um, and you can do this by either manually editing a JSON file, or uh, Wave Labs also has a workflow editor that allows you to just drag and drop bubbles and connect them with arrows to define the steps of your data flow. Um, Unfortunately, this, is, this isn't uh, supported as well anymore in Windows 17, so you just need to keep that in mind if you do decide to use uh, the workflow editor. Um, worst comes to worst, you just need to manually edit a JSON file. To show you what the uh, workflow editor looks like, I'm, I'm in the Wave, Wave Labs app here in Salesforce. Um, there's a few different options, but I'm focused on the workflow editor. 
and I can go in and open the one data flow that we have configured. And you can see this is a pretty simple one. I just have an extract step to uh, take my campaign data out of Salesforce and a register step to load the data uh, and, and make it available so you can create lenses. You have to register any data sets you create, or else they won't be available to build visualizations on top of them. Um, there's a couple of other nifty uh, tools you can if you want to bring in uh, another object, you can just drag the digest node into the data flow and select, oh, I want to bring in accounts. Um, you can also augment two data sets together if you drag the augment in. And that just allows you to define the relationship between two separate data sets in your flow. So you'd save this. And then you'd have your, your data sets created in, in Google Analytics after you run your data flow. So we have a Google Analytics data set and a Salesforce campaign data set. Um, so you're really ready to start building visualizations at this point once you have your data sets in Wave. Um, you can look at a bunch of different metrics from the combined uh, data sets. You can sessions by campaign, ad revenue by campaign, uh, the age, different age groups that access your campaigns. And you can really customize it as far as you want. You can bring in more opportunities into the data flow if you want to see how that's affected by any of your Google Analytics data. Um, Wave also has the functionality to link back to your Salesforce records. If you have your uh, data in a table in Wave, you can simply open it up and look at the, the record in Salesforce to drill down for more detail. Um, so this Google Analytics campaign dashboard is just a demo dashboard we created. Um, it's pretty simple. It just has a few filters and two charts. You can select the, these different test campaigns we created, campaign one, two, and three. Um, see it filters everything else on the dashboard. You can select a date range for the, the data you want to look at, different age groups that from Google Analytics, uh, and the source and medium from how they're getting to your site. Um, we also have a few uh, number widgets to display important information, uh, campaigns by age group. Um, and in this chart, we have our campaign revenue progress. So this bar on the right shows the expected revenue tracked on the campaign in Salesforce. And on the left, it's actually the actual um, revenue recorded from Google Analytics. So we were able, from those data sets, we were able to combine them in, uh, into one chart to show your data from Google Analytics and Salesforce in an easy to view uh, chart to see your progress against your campaign, campaign goals. Um, and at the bottom here, you can see we have a simple table. Let's say I want to go into more detail about uh, campaign one. I simply click on the arrow next to the campaign and open the record and open it up in Salesforce and drill down to any more details that I'd want to see. So how do we get there? How do we, how do we create that visualization? Um, there's really two main things you want to focus on uh, for, for building dashboards. Every dashboard needs to have lenses. Um, Lenses are pretty easy to create. You just click on a data set. It comes up uh, with a simple bar chart that you can create different uh, measures and add different uh, groupings to, to, to filter the data how you need to see it. Um, but sometimes the, the use case is a little bit more complicated, and you, you, need, a, you need more customization. Um, for that, you need to use SACL. Um, SACL stands for Salesforce Analytics Query Language. Um, it, it allows you to join two or more data sets on the fly, uh, kind of like how I showed on that chart on the left previously. You create some ad advanced number widgets that you can't do uh, with just lenses. Um, so I'm going to walk through how to create a simple lens and uh, go through a SACL query for the chart that I showed earlier. So I'm going to head over, back over to uh, the Wave, Wave application. Um, and I'm going to try to recreate this, this chart on the, on the right that I was showing earlier. Um, so if I click on the, the Google Analytics data set, uh, I can change the measure to show the sum of the page views. Um, we wanted to see the data by campaign and then also by the age group. I can see data by your campaign and age group, but there's also all this data that didn't come from any, any campaigns that you don't, really don't want to see. So we can simply filter that out by adding a filter on the campaign dimension and saying where it does not equal not set. And now this looks like a good chart you'd want to bring into your dashboard. 
So you can clip to designer, which will make it available in the editor. Um, so when you clip it to the designer, uh, you'll have it on the side here, so you can drag it into your dashboard. Uh, this, this next chart, we needed to use custom SACL for, um, and create, needed to create a query. So I'm going to show you what that query looks like now. Uh, so I'm going to go line by line through this. Uh, we have this, this statement, the SACL statement here uh, that loads the Google Analytics data set, and we're calling that data G. We load the Salesforce campaigns data set, we're calling that S, and we're filtering out the data where the campaign isn't set. Um, and then this line right here actually joins the two data sets together on the fly. So uh, this query simply groups the G data set with the Google Analytics data and the S data set uh, with the Salesforce campaigns data uh, on the campaign name. Um, with Wave, you have to join on, on groups, um, on aggregations, I should say. So that's why this is a group statement instead of a join statement, if you're familiar with SQL at all. Um, that might be interesting to you. Um, and then once we have the data joined together, we can generate the, uh, generate the metrics that we want to see in the chart. Uh, so we want to see the sum of the revenue and the sum of the expected revenue for those campaigns. And then we're simply limiting the data. And, and if for some reason it's over 2,000 rows, you really wouldn't want to see that in the chart. Um, so it's always a good idea to have a limit statement at the end of your, your SACL query. Um, to get this into your dashboard, you need to go over to, you can go over to your dashboard and press Control E or Command E on a Mac, and uh, it'll open up the JSON behind the dashboard. And this, this describes everything, uh, every th every chart and every widget you have. So um, there's a set, there's a step for this chart. There's a step for this chart. All these filters. Uh, you want to find the chart that you want to add the SACL to. In our case, it's this uh, campaign ten. I'll zoom in a little bit, make it easier to see. But this campaign step contains that chart on the left that we were showing. So you'd copy and paste the SACL um, into a new, a, a new field in the JSON called pigquel. Pigquel is the same thing as SACL. It's just uh, the, the original name for the language. Uh, you copy that in, then you can save, uh, save your changes by hitting switch to runtime. Let me zoom back out here. And you, your chart will, will show up. Um, with, with the data combined in one dashboard. Um, so that, that concludes the demo portion. Um, there's some, some useful links we have available. Um, the, GA2, the Google Analytics to Salesforce Wave app is available via this link. Uh, on GitHub, you can download it and add uh, the, uh, de download it so you can deploy the app to Heroku. Um, our, our website, mycervello.com, if you want any form information about our company. Uh, the Google Analytics developer site just has a ton of great information about all the different metrics and dimensions um, that are available. There's a ton of them. Uh, believe me, I, I look through them. And uh, Analytics Wave best practices. Um, if you have any trouble trying to figure out where you need to edit the JSON or how to create a, a, a SQL query, there's some really good resources here. Um, so we'll actually be, be taking questions uh, off stage. We'll be hanging around at the back for 10 minutes. If anyone wants to come up and ask any questions, we'd be more than happy to answer them. But uh, thank you for your time, and enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks.